What's up guys? Hey, thank you so much for coming back to the infinite today. Hey, I was scrolling through Twitter today Okay, let's pull up Twitter here on the side. Boom. Okay. Boom Twitter now look I was scrolling through here's what I saw. Okay. I think that I read boom profile. Okay Vova Kurbatov There are plenty of demos that show some finance info. Well, don't look that shows some finance info on a card. I wanted to take it one step further and explore interactions in context. Takeaways, less UI is always better. Nice when augmented UI is on something physical. Uh, yeah, you could say that again. I think that you taught us all that today, uh, Vova, because honestly, this looks incredible. I really wish that I had my Apple card with me right now. I don't because it's at my apartment and I'm not currently living at my apartment because of COVID-19 pandemic. And so I don't have my Apple card, but this video really makes me want it. Let's, uh, let's watch this, shall we? That's... Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, fantastic video. First of all, fantastic video by Vova. Literally, I'm gonna leave his link down in the description to both his YouTube channel and his Twitter page because this is huge, okay? This is like a huge insight into where Apple's headed with the future. Now, if you've watched like Apple leaks and, and uh, like insight videos before I mean you know that Apple is working on augmented reality glasses okay that's like that's a thing okay now when they come out nobody really knows I'm gonna give you what I think I mean we've seen AR headsets before right and and they're big they're bulky they don't they're definitely not fashionable okay a fashionable is probably at the end of the list of features that I'd say on an AR headset now what is Apple gonna do well, let's think about what they did before. Let's look at smartwatches, what they looked like before the Apple Watch. Okay, those are just some examples, right? Now, what about when the Apple Watch came out? What, what did the Apple Watch look like? Go ahead. The Apple Watch redefined fashion in the category of smartwatches. Now, watches have always been a subject of fashion. Smartwatches were not a thing of style, they were a thing of utility. What Apple did is married those two things together. Apple has done this throughout product categories all throughout the years. What did phones look like before the iPhone? Okay, it kind of gives you an idea. You have those heavy industrial phones. Now, granted, you also have Blackberry and things, but nothing looked as nice as the iPhone. When that iPhone came out, that redefined what style, what fashion, what cool was in the area of smartphone. So awesome. Apple does this with everything. So Apple's AR headset, is it really going to be a headset? I don't think so. I think that Apple's AR headset, I don't think Apple's going to release AR glasses until they look like this. Okay, these are the computer glasses that I sometimes wear. I think that Apple's AR glasses are going to look like this. I hope so at least. And here's why. Because when Apple's AR headset looks like this, when they look fashionable, when they look stylish and in, in the mainstream, that's when Apple is going to dominate the market. They're going to redefine the AR headset market. And that's when that Apple card concept is going to become so applicable. Basically, you want the AR headset, you want Apple glasses to look like something that people are going to be putting on every day, just like the smartwatch. Now, people wear an Apple watch as a style, as a, not only a status symbol, but it's part of their style. They say, wow, this outfit would look great with the Apple watch. Now, you wouldn't say that about smartwatches before the Apple Watch. You just, you would not. You'd say, oh, I'm dressing up. I better wear one of my nicer watches, one of my nicer timepieces to go with my outfit. But they look so good. The stainless steel silver. Oh, are you kidding me? I'd wear that every single day for the rest of my life. So basically, you want the glasses to look in such a way where you say, hey, I'm dressing up. I'm going to put on my Apple glasses. And you want them, in fact, not only to become something that you only wear when you dress up or something like that, 
the Apple glasses, I mean, the Apple Watch was the first thing that Apple created that you actually wear. That you, that you put, that becomes a part of your body. Now, you could argue that AirPods were the second thing, and you're kind of, you're right. I mean, technically, you're right. I think that really the next thing that is going to go along with your style that's going to say something about your character are the Apple glasses. You're going to have different styles of Apple glasses. Now, basically, what this is going to do is make AR mainstream, and that's when you can pick up your card and see an interface. That's when you pick up your Apple card, and without having to without having to look at your Apple card through your phone and be like, oh, uh, these are my transactions. Literally, you pick up your Apple card and it's there. Everything's there on your Apple card, just like in this concept. That's why this concept is so beautiful. It's so perfect. It's just awesome. Because the Apple glasses, the concept work hand in hand with each other and you just touch your card. You don't have any external controls. There's not a remote. There's not Siri voice. Can You literally touch it and it moves perfect this is a card that without your glasses it's gonna look completely normal throw your glasses on this card becomes a huge AR experience now AR is gonna become super applicable in a bunch of different areas the Apple card is just one of the first maybe honestly one of the, the least practical use cases for AR one of the most practical is gonna be in maps okay when you can literally look down the street and, and see the turn by turn directions right on your glasses the current best combination for walking and getting directions is the Apple Watch and the AirPods because your watch will tap you when you need to take a turn and Siri will notify you when you need to take a turn. You can have your music in. Everything's great. Everything's like, you don't have to hold anything up, nothing. AR with Apple Maps is a fantastic idea. On the iPhone, it's cool, but it's not very practical. You're not gonna hold out your phone in front of you and see, oh, okay, like here's the arrow pointing me this direction. Okay, cool, like looking in the camera app. I just don't really see it happening. Honestly, there's a big difference. When you hold out your phone, okay, I need to take a right turn 200 feet, cool. That and this, okay, it looks like there's a turn up there. Okay, keep on going. Is this the, th okay, turn, cool. Now let's go to the next step, cool. Uh, oh, there's some arrows going over there. Everybody would look absolutely ridiculous, okay? You can look at your phone, get a bird's eye view, and then map it out in your own head. If you have the glasses on and they lead you step by step, you don't even need voice, uh, voice over Siri with AirPods. Like, you can literally just see it right in front of you. Zero other thought. It's like you're just following somebody. You can think about something else as you do it. Absolutely fantastic. It's fantastic. So, anyways, I'll leave the link to Vova's Twitter handle and also his YouTube page down below. You guys, check out his work. He's done some other things. I saw something that he did, that he did with the first generation Apple Pencil. Super fantastic. The thing is, I think that the Apple Card um, AR concept is the best one that he's done so far. Literally fantastic. And I can see so many use cases for that in the future. You know, um, there's literally everything. I mean, you could look at your hand, you could get your, your body temperature and your heart rate and um, let's say like your muscle fatigue in your hand just by looking at it and details pop up when you have the AR, AR glasses on. This is absolutely the future. So Vova, thank you so much for sharing that concept. Thank you everybody for tuning in again today. Super fantastic, really glad to have this as a second episode and looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you, have a wonderful day.